Uh, my name is Jay Prescott. I am the Director of Global Sock Operations and I've been at Rapid7 for about five years and one month. Uh, the office culture is pretty interesting and I can't even say it's really an office culture because I think it's, it's more of a culture with the sock as a whole. Um, we've really tried to make or create an environment where Analysts can be themselves, they can, they can grow, they can learn. It's very inclusive, it's very diverse. Having you know, a, a high degree of diversity really helps bring in other perspectives and ideas and things like that. Aside from that, it also allows us to, to have a lot of fun. You know, um, If you sit in the same echo chamber all day long, you're gonna talk to the same people, you're gonna do things the way you've always done them, but we're not about that life. And that's what keeps the job engaging and interesting. I think a lot of our success and a lot of our success and retention is giving people the opportunity to really learn, grow, and, and own their career and their progress. The role of a customer advisor uh, is, is pretty interesting. It was uh, a role created because we want the SOC to focus on you know, alert triage, investigations, incident response, threat hunting, all that fun stuff. We, we saw the need to have uh, an individual or a group of individuals who really own the customer relationship, knowledgeable, they're all technical, they go through a full technical screening, and they, they're really responsible for the entire or the holistic health of like a company's cybersecurity program. A lot of the tools and uh, sort of internal things we use as far as technology goes really comes from, you know, the innovation of the SOC. And one benefit that we have is we have a dedicated engineering team, which will often uh, take a lot of the tools that the SOC has put together, and they'll take these tools that we built and put them in production, and that way they're much easier for other SOC analysts to use when they're being onboarded. Uh, it's easier for SOC analysts to pick up, and, and a lot of times these things end up in, in the product that you know product-only customers will, will benefit from. So one of the benefits of having you know, a full-blown SOC and incident response team as, as part of the MDR service is we can heavily influence where a lot of our uh, detection sets come from. And that, that's not just for MDR customers, that's for IDR customers as well. So if we have an analyst who finds something new and novel that maybe we haven't seen before, or it's a you know, change to a TTP that we don't really have a detection for yet or something like that, we can turn that around very quickly, uh, hand it over to the, our threat intelligence and detection engineering team, and they can turn that around into a detection and very quickly evaluate it and apply it across all customers. You know, that's why I think you know partnering with the TI team and the IR team and, and our threat and our other threat intelligence folks. Um, I think we do have you know kind of best of breed detections. It's it's nothing like nothing I've ever seen before in, in my career.